and I'll call this meeting to order. Would you all please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? Ms. Fulton has been on our board for six years. She just finished her third term, second term. Um, she has been a delight to work with for the past six years. Uh, I'm going to say some nice stuff about her, and she'll probably go a little Carol took medication today. Um, she has been an unbelievable school board member. She's been a leader not only to us, but to other board members in the state. North Texas and the state. She is a graduate of Leadership Tasby, which encompasses a lot of work. She is a, a, a local leader who cares for the children of this district. And she has four kids, but she will be one of the ones that says that Shirley has 51,000. And she, does, she believes that with her whole heart. Um, she has put numerous hours into this community, not only through being on the school board, but also through PTA activities, through training. She has been such a major, has such a major contribution to this district that it's, uh, it's, we're going to be bereft without her. She has uh, put so much planning into our district. She has helped us develop our board procedures that we'll be talking about later on. She has been making us move forward as a board because of her training that she has. Not only did she be a board member for 60 years, but during that time she also went and finished her degree. So when you're talking about a mother of four, an active board member, she's everywhere, also working on her degree and developing a, a, a training program for some other nonprofits. She's on communities and schools in North Texas. She works with uh, Texas Friends of Public Schools and she was an active member for our school district here and through the state. We are, uh, I know she's not going anywhere. Uh, now she gets to come to the microphone and say whatever you really want. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what she has left is a legacy. She has a legacy here and it's gonna continue. A legacy is not, it's a living legacy. She's gonna be, she's, she's young stuff, as I say in my Boston accent. And she's, as she said, she's not going anywhere, but she has been such a credit and a valuable asset to our district, who she's not being replaced. She's just um, being put uh, on ice for a little bit. She's taking some bad, yes, which is well deserved. But we have a, a, a small token of our esteem um, because you were such a valuable person and you work so hard. Uh, Amber Fulton, Board of Trustees 2005 to 2011, in appreciation of your commitment and dedication to the students and staff of the Louisville Independent School District. And we should say state to Texas. <laughs> Read. I'm reading. 
It has been an honor to serve as a trustee for the past six years, and I am sincerely privileged to have had this experience. My service has been shaped by many, many fine individuals, and some of them have become very dear friends, as well as my family who have unwaveringly enabled my participation at the board level. I have grown individually, but more importantly, have developed a true sense of what it means to be a board member and an advocate for public education. You know, the great thing about running for school board is that you have the opportunity to have an impact at this level and in a very meaningful way. But with that is also the risk of having that opportunity removed under less than ideal circumstances. So I've learned through my time as a board member that there are many voices in the district clamoring for attention to the point that the ruckus can sometimes detract from the ultimate goal. My hope for all of you sitting trustees, Dr. Waddell, and for the additional district leaders is that each of you will be blessed with wisdom, discernment, and an uncanny ability to sort through the voices. I know that you will demonstrate the strength of character to protect our students and our staff and our families from any harm to the world-class educational experience that they all deserve. So like many strong supporters of LISD, I will help you in any way that I can. Although I'm no longer a member of the starting lineup, I will be here in the stands to cheer you on.